It's one of the most inhospitable places on Earth, but that doesn't mean there's not a whole bunch of interesting stuff out in Antarctica. Somehow, people continue to find new discoveries that change our understanding of life in this freezing, inhospitable location, and some are… well, they're a little weird. From Google Earth aliens to a colony of ice fish, let's take a look at 20 unsettling discoveries in Antarctica nobody can explain. <sighs> Number 20. Antarctic UFO We often talk about the incredible power of Google Earth. This simple tool has allowed us to see so much of the world from a height that would probably kill us if we did it for real. And now we have a whole new find on Google Earth. And yes, what they discovered in Antarctica shocked the whole world. Claims have been made by some UFO enthusiasts that they have spotted a crashed UFO in images captured by Google Earth over Antarctica. Alien hunters believe that this unidentified mass is the wreckage of an alien spaceship that crash-landed on the ice-bound continent. The alleged UFO was seen on a remote South Georgia island, home to fewer than 40 people. The video captivated viewers around the world. Online UFO fans zoomed in on the unknown object, and after watching the video, many started posting their own theories. It seems that while some believed the image was indeed that of a crashed UFO, others maintained that it was just a rock transported by the glacier. So I guess this once again comes down to whatever you want to believe. If you want to believe that aliens exist, you have to take a closer look at the mysterious Georgia rock. But if you're more prone to science, I don't know, go read a book or something. This is Just a Rock to You. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Ice Fish Colony Antarctica is often talked about as being one of the most inhospitable and brutal climates on Earth, and that's certainly true. But it doesn't mean that there aren't many animals living out there. They're just really, really good at hide-and-seek. In 2022, a team of researchers discovered a breeding colony of nodothenioid ice fish in Antarctica's southern Weddell Sea. The colony covered an area bigger than any previously recorded ice fish colony. The researchers estimated that it included more than 60 million active nests, measuring approximately 135 million pounds of biomass. Scientists found the ice fish nests while surveying the Flitchner ice shelf using a large device towed behind the RV polar stern at speeds of 0.6 to 2.4 miles per hour. It records videos and acoustic bathymetry data, giving the researchers all the data they could ever ask for. So clearly there is life in the most inhospitable and difficult areas of the world, and the only stuff you need to find those animals is a whole lot of expensive equipment to capture acoustic bathymetry data. Whatever that is, I don't know. You could probably get everything you need from Radio Shack. Number 18. Strange Hole in the early 1970s, satellites first began snapping photos of Earth, causing researchers to puzzle over a mysterious hole in one of Antarctica's seasonal ice packs. But by summertime, the gap had disappeared, and the mystery went unsolved until recently. So let me ask the question, what the hell happened? Well, nobody knew for a very long time. Then in 2018, during the continent's coldest winter months, a giant and mysterious hole suddenly appeared in the same ice pack. Two months later, it had grown by 740% in size before disappearing with the summer ice. And now after decades, scientists have finally identified the source of mysterious holes in Arctic ice. Researchers from New York University, Abu Dhabi, and NYUAD have found that cyclonic storms appear to leave scars on the Arctic Ocean in the form of temporary holes called polinias. As warm air and cold 
cold air collide at the South Pole in September 2017. The resulting powerful cyclone pushed the Arctic ice pack away from the storm's eye, like a drill to the water below. So basically, Mother Nature decided to use the weather as a kind of power drill, forging a hole in the ice and confusing the world in the process. Although, come on now, it's not exactly difficult to confuse humans, right? Number 17. Lake Vostok I don't think you have to be some kind of a temperature whiz to know that life in the colder parts of the world is not easy. In fact, it's pretty damn awful when you really stop to think about it. But don't go thinking it's all snow and ice. There are lakes, it's just that they're buried beneath all that snow and ice. Lake Vostok, located at the southern pole of cold, under Russia's Vostok Station, is the largest of Antarctica's almost 400 known subglaciers lakes. Lake Vostok is hidden under the Central East Antarctic Ice Sheet, which is around 11,444 feet above mean sea level. Which means Lake Vostok lies 1,600 feet below sea level and 13,100 feet beneath the ice sheet that covers it. So basically, it's probably one of the lowest sitting lakes in the world. Which also means that it's gonna be one of the coldest. This is my way of telling you not to go skinny dipping here. So so yeah, this is my way of reminding you all to protect your health and your lives, and in my experience, the best way to do that is just to stay the hell away from ice-cold lakes buried underneath several feet of ice. Problem solved. Number 16. 71 Million Year Old Fossils Maybe this is just me talking as a voiceover artist, but the idea of trekking out to Antarctica to perform a freezing cold expedition does not sound fun. And yet, people love it. They love it so much that they continue to do it until they find incredible discoveries like this. In 2016, a group of international scientists on an expedition in Antarctica found a ton of fossils and dinosaur remains in the snow. It's estimated that they're around 71 million years old, with many dating back all the way to the end of the dinosaur era. And what's even more intriguing, they all seemed to live in the ocean, including the fossils of early ducks that lived toward the end of the Cretaceous period. Not a bad find for a big old mass of snow and ice, eh, friends? Apparently, it was quite the challenge to get to the expedition region, but they were pretty Pretty glad when they pulled it off. Can you imagine their disappointment if they got there and found nothing but a bunch of old, dirty diapers? Thank goodness they found something they could actually write about. Good for you, science! Number 15. Life Under Ice as humans, we often wonder how any living thing can survive in extreme, borderline hostile environments. For instance, extreme cold or extreme heat. Surely no creature can survive in sub-zero temperatures buried beneath several feet of ice. Well, my friends, you'd be wrong. A recent study published in December 2021 reported that marine life is unexpectedly abundant beneath Antarctic ice shelves. It's long been known that some kind of life thrives in the perpetually dark, cold, and still habitats of ice shelves, but researchers have rarely collected specimens from these remote locations. Until now, scientists used hot water to drill two holes through nearly 0.1 miles of the Ekstrom ice shelf near the new Mayer Station 3. In the southeastern Weddell Sea in 2018, the conditions were extremely cold, around minus 2.2 degrees Celsius, or 35.9 Fahrenheit. But they succeeded in their mission. The biodiversity collected from their research site was astonishing, despite being several miles inland. A full analysis of the specimens revealed that the seabed contained a wide variety of marine life. So there you have it. Animals can, in fact, survive in extremely cold environments. I have absolutely no idea how, and if any of them are there by choice, I have no idea why, but it once again proves that anything human assume about the world is most likely wrong. Number 14. Ancient Rainforest 
You're probably thinking that we've discovered all of the rainforests that are on Earth by this point, and that would be a pretty understandable assumption, given that we've been here for thousands of years. Apparently, once again, humans know absolutely nothing. In February 2017, scientists took sediment core samples from the ocean floor in the Amundsen Sea off the coast of West Antarctica. They were surprised to find fossil remnants of a swampy temperate rainforest that thrived in Antarctica about 90 million years ago. This sample contained an abundance of fossilized plant pollen and spores from ancient forest soil. Further CT scans revealed a dense network of fossilized plant roots within the soil. The location is surprising. 90 million years ago, it was 560 miles from the South Pole, yet its climate was surprisingly mild, averaging about 54 Fahrenheit or 12 degrees Celsius annually. Scientists suggested that the mild conditions in Antarctica some 50 million years ago may have resulted from higher carbon dioxide concentrations. At the time, there was no significant ice sheet across the continent, hence a forest. So next time somebody tells you that there could never be any kind of vegetation growing in the Antarctic, you could tell them that they're full of baloney. Not only could it happen, it did happen. They will, of course, change their story and say, well, it couldn't happen now. But, you know, with climate change and everything, it probably could. Number 13. Gambertsev Mountain Range Despite what many people assume, Antarctica is so much more than merely a lot of ice and snow. There are also mountains. In fact, there's a whole mountain range that doesn't get the amount of attention that others get. So let's give it some love. The Gambertsev Mountain Range, also called the Gambertsev Subglacial Mountains, is a group of mountains located in East Antarctica. The Gambertsev Mountain Range is one of the most isolated regions on Earth. The range was named for geophysicist Grigory A. Gambertsev, who led the Third Soviet Antarctic Expedition in 1958 and discovered it as part of a group of geologists. But scientists believe they first formed around a billion years ago when two plates of land collided to create the supercontinent of Rodinia. The range is around 750 miles long. The mountains believed to be 8,900 100 feet high, but that's pure guesswork since they're covered by more than 2,000 feet of ice and snow. The Gambertsev mountain range is a truly beautiful natural development, and yet surprisingly little is actually known about them. Even the experts have to rely almost entirely on guesswork and estimations, so who knows what lives within those mountains? Aliens? Yetis? Dragons? We may never know. Number 12. McMurdo Dry Valleys so, we've already covered that Antarctica is full of intriguing and unexpected things, but is it even remotely possible for there to be parts where there's no snow whatsoever? Conventional logic says absolutely not, and yet here we are, about to introduce you to an incredibly dry area of Antarctica, the McMurdo Dry Valleys. The McMurdo Dry Valleys are located in the Victoria Land region of Antarctica and are almost entirely snow-free. The dry valleys have not seen rain for nearly 2 million years, and their extremely low humidity is lowered even further by surrounding mountains that prevent the flow of ice from nearby glaciers. Covering approximately 1,500 square miles, the region is one of the world's most extreme deserts. The only life known to live here is endolithic bacteria, sheltered from the dry air and the relative relatively moist interior of rocks. Sounds like a fun life. This is kind of the ultimate proof that Antarctica is so much more than we assume. This freezing cold part of the world is home to one of the world's most brutal and dry deserts. Who among us could have seen that coming? Well, me, because I read the script. But who among you saw it coming? Number 11. Rectangular Iceberg 
Whenever you see an iceberg in a cartoon, it always looks kind of the same, right? It's a weird, shapeless, inverse gem type thing. So, given that it's so common in cartoons, you'd think that it would be the case in reality too. Apparently, we're wrong. Again. Kinda getting bored of this being wrong all the time business. NASA scientist Jeremy Harbeck has been surveying the world from above for decades, but it was only by chance that he happened to spot an iceberg in Antarctica that looked perfectly man-made. On a surveying flight over the Antarctic Peninsula, Harbeck spotted an iceberg with square sides and a flat top that resembled a perfect rectangle more than a natural occurrence. This perfectly rectangular iceberg is both natural and not unusual. Ice crystals break along straight lines, so perfectly rectangular icebergs are a natural occurrence. Uncommon, but natural. The friction between the ice and bedrock in the northern hemisphere means that icebergs forming in those regions tend to be irregularly shaped, just as we imagine. You know, from all the cartoons. So, no, thankfully cartoons are not lying to us, it's just that there are some instances where life is a little bit different and weird. I for one am very grateful to know that my beloved tunes are not betraying me. Number 10. Mount Erebus Obviously, we should all be extremely concerned about the ongoing and very real threat of climate change, but there's also something else concerning that we don't seem to acknowledge, the active volcano in Antarctica. How the heck are we not paying attention to this dude? Mount Erebus is the second highest active volcano in Antarctica, after Mount Sidley. It is the sixth highest ultra mountain on the continent, and the southern most active volcano on Earth. So, yeah, a very big deal. The volcano has been active for more than one million years and is home to a long-lived lava lake in its inner summit crater, which has existed since the 1970s. The summit elevation of Mount Erebus is an unbelievable 12,448 feet, and it's located in an area with other volcanoes. Thankfully, those other three volcanoes are all inactive, which definitely helps to ease the existential dread slightly. Mount Erebus is probably not the thing we should be most concerned about in this world, but it's definitely something to be conscious of. After all, if just one thing goes wrong, you're looking at a full-scale climate catastrophe in Antarctica. It's bad enough they're melting from the environment, but lava too? Ugh, hard pass from me. Number 9. Southern Ocean my friends, I'm sorry to do this, but we're all gonna have to go back to school right now. As it turns out, we've been taught total lies. Until now, millions of children worldwide have grown up memorizing basic facts about geography. One of those facts is that there are seven continents and four oceans. Not true, apparently. National Geographic announced that it has officially recognized the existence of a fifth ocean, called the Southern Ocean this body of water surrounds Antarctica. Historically, there were only four ocean regions, the Atlantic, the Pacific, the Indian, and the Arctic. But many scientists, sailors, and others over the years have used the term Southern Ocean to describe the physical area of ocean water around Antarctica. And now, thanks to their authority in the natural world, National Geographic has officially determined that the water is an ocean. So that pretty much throws everything we ever learned about geography right out the window. But while we're here, I'm just gonna state publicly that I have have absolutely no intention of going back to school. For this or anything else that may no longer be accurate, I categorically refuse because, well, I can. Number 8. Ancient Meteorites 
In movies, the sight of a big rock approaching Earth is something that causes great panic and usually ends up killing us all. And while that's not completely outside the realm of possibility, meteorites tend to be just a little bit less extreme. Meteorites are pieces of space rock that have broken from a larger mass and fallen to Earth. As they fall through the atmosphere, they can become shooting stars, momentary streaks of light that flash across the sky. Up to 84,000 meteorites, bigger than a marble, fall to Earth every year. And we don't even know about most of them, because while that's a lot of meteorites, most are tough to find. They may be hidden by plant leaves, mixed up with rocks on Earth's surface, or sunk in deep water, or something else entirely. But spotting a meteorite in Antarctica's vast emptiness is as easy as black on white. That's why for decades, teams of scientists have braved the continent's extreme conditions to search for them once a meteorite strikes Antarctica. It's already traveled more than a million miles through space. It will then be studied by scientists and displayed in museums or lent to scientists who will probe it for clues to Earth's beginnings and even hints of alien life. So when you really think about it, the meteorite's journey is way more interesting than the movies make it seem. Dang, Hollywood, lying to us again. Number 7. Ice Cubes Antarctica's icy surface is not always smooth and pristine. Sometimes it appears to be a land of giant ice cubes in some places, but why? How does this strange phenomenon occur, and what does it all mean in the grand scheme of human evolution? Okay, that last question is not getting answered, but we'll tackle the others. Though Antarctica's enormous masses of ice may appear solid to humans, they're always on the move. These movements cause patterns to emerge, patterns that are not carved but instead shaped over time by long periods of pulling. First, the ice expands laterally as it floats, creating deep troughs along its path. Then, as the slab continues to slide forward, the snow breaks perpendicular to the first troughs. Or if you want it in basic English, as the ice spreads and thins, it breaks into a regular grid of grid-like cracks. It's all very straightforward. I don't know why scientists don't add in explain like I'm five. So in conclusion, Antarctica is basically just one giant cocktail filled to the brim with ice cubes. And come on, you can't even say I'm lying. That's basically exactly what it is, right? Number 6. Antarctic Pyramid Conspiracy theories usually begin when you find something that defies basic common sense. Well, get ready to see the birth of a whole new conspiracy theory, my friends, because here in Antarctica, there's a very unusual and unexplained pyramid. What do you think? Egyptians? Bigfoot. Well, as tends to happen with the internet, the Antarctic Pyramid went viral, with many people speculating about its origin. Some people think that a lost civilization carved the structure, while others suggest that aliens played a role in its creation. But scientists say the most likely explanation is that it's a simple mountain. Yeah, kind of boring, right? Those steep, pyramid-like sides result from hundreds of millions of years of erosion. That's disappointing. One scientist offered a more detailed explanation clarifying that pyramid shapes are not impossible. In fact, many peaks have a pyramid shape, but they only have one to two faces that look like pyramids very rarely for. Man, science really sucks the fun out of everything. So there you have it, science has officially told us not to believe everything that we want to believe. Magic is not real and the pyramid was not created by aliens. Unless, of course, you want to believe it is. Science can't take that away from you. Number 5. The Heat of Antarctica Obviously, we think of Antarctica as being one of the coldest places on Earth. And it is, but it may not be anywhere near as cold as we once thought. In fact, there could well be a whole lot of heat being generated from within. A new study suggests there's a large source of geothermal heat beneath East Antarctica that scientists have not yet taken into account when calculating the effects of climate change. That's not great news, right? Radar 
sightings taken by an aircraft flying over Antarctica indicate that ice in this area appears to be melting from the bottom up. Based on observations taken up to almost 470 miles inland from the shore, experts think radioactive rocks and hot water spurting from inside Earth's crust are contributing to this additional melt. The international team of scientists believe this process could cause more ice loss in the future. So that's depressing. But I guess if you can look past the existential threat, it's a pretty cool find. It's not every day that you find a giant hot tub sitting beneath a giant expanse of ice and snow, right? Number 4. Blood Falls is there anything more sinister than a giant, flowing mass of bloody red water? Well, yeah, probably many things, but for now, we're going to just pretend like there isn't. Because that's exactly what we're about to show you. It's like a vampire's dream. If that vampire prefers delicious, irony salt water instead of blood, blood falls as a dramatic flow of red, iron oxide tainted salt water from a tongue of the Taylor Glacier onto the ice-covered surface of a remote Antarctic lake. In 1911, the Australian geologist Griffith Taylor discovered the reddish substance. The Antarctica pioneers attributed the red color to red algae. However, this was later proven to be false by scientists who discovered it was actually dyed by iron oxides. From tiny fissures, hypersaline water with an extremely high concentration of iron gushes out onto the ice. In hindsight, it would have to be a very weird vampire who enjoyed this. Still, Blood Falls is unlike any other water flow in the world, and you can only imagine how surprised Taylor and his team must have been when they first discovered this insane blood red water feature. I can't imagine they felt comforted and relaxed. Number 3. Mummified Penguins how far would you go to check out some leftover animal poop? I'm gonna take a wild swing and guess that most people watching this video wouldn't go anywhere to check out animal poop. And that's how we know you're not an animal expert, because they I love this poop. In 2016, while studying penguin colonies in Antarctica, ornithologist Stephen Hemsley heard a rumor that guano, bird or bat droppings, had been found on a rocky outcrop near the shore. Their guano stains would be the first discovery of active colonies in this area, raising his curiosity enough to check it out. When he arrived at the site, he found pebbles scattered across the ground, splotchy guano stains on the ice, and a score of dead penguins. The bodies belonged to Adeli penguins, a species that builds nests out of pebbles and raises its young near the coast of Antarctica. Most of the dead were chicks, doomed to a short life. Some corpses looked freshly dead, with flesh and feathers intact. Others, meanwhile, were mummified and borderline fossilized. Emsley excavated the corpses and took them back to his lab for radiocarbon analysis, which would determine their actual age. So, all in all, Emsley was was probably pretty disappointed to discover that his treasure trove of poop had been sullied by such a massacre. But don't worry, man, there will always be other rogue poops. Number 2. Jade Icebergs Green icebergs are rare. They are so rare that, for ages, some people thought they didn't exist at all. But they do. If you have the good fortune to see one, you will definitely notice its green color. It's not a hint of green in an otherwise normal looking iceberg. It's very green. There's long been a speculation about how or why the icebergs are green. According to the most popular and commonly argued theory, the explanation is simple. Marine ice. It's seawater frozen to the the bottom of an ice shelf. Not sea ice, it's not frozen on the surface of the sea, it's frozen sea water. Kinda difficult to explain, right? Well, that's why it's called marine ice. 
the color was long believed to be due to a high content of organic matter of the frozen seawater, which is a fancy way of saying it was photoplankton trapped in ice. But now a team of scientists have arrived on the scene to confirm what we all believed. It is frozen seawater. To be more specific, it's seawater frozen to the bottom of an ice shelf. And that's how you get jade icebergs. Man, it's so simple now that I look back at it. Number 1. Ghostly Sounds You'd think that life in the Arctic would be free from ghosts. I mean, what would ghosts even do out here? There's nobody to haunt, you can't exactly do much except wander the ice and hope something happens. But despite this earthly logic, scientists may have found proof of something going on. Let's find out how science takes the fun out of this. Scientists have found new noises in Antarctica, as weird as anything you could dream up. But no, it's nothing to do with extraterrestrial life. Maybe. A study revealed that the weird noise is actually vibrating ice caused by the wind blowing across snow dunes. Yep, there it is. Fun gone. A geophysicist and mathematician described the sound as if you're blowing a flute constantly on the ice shelf. Okay, the fun is back. Another scientist compared the sounds to those of thousands of cicadas. The sounds were too low in frequency for the human ear to hear, but the sounds could be heard sped up by monitoring equipment. So, okay, there's no ghost in the Antarctic, or at least none that we know of. But at least we learned that somebody seems to know what it sounds like to play a flute constantly on the ice shelf. That's a very specific analogy. I'd like to know that scientist better. Maybe start a band with them. Which of these discoveries do you think is the strangest? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.